this road trip, they'll try to close it out with an exclamation mark here tonight on EA Sports. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Penguins will start with the puck as they win the opening face-off here. And now he moves it to Rust from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Poked away at center by Graves. Taken along the wall by Crosby. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Hyman's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Too much traffic in the lane. Quick pass to Crosby. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Slides the puck down low. Passes out to it. The shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Campbell. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Edmonton's won the defensive zone draw. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Centering feed, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Ekholm's been working so hard with the puck and without it, it's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points, you want to feel like you're contributing. Malkins won the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Angles it over to Brown. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The Oilers move it in. Here's a shot. Oh, great poke save by the Tendi. Jari's made an incredible save right there. And his kind of status quo, he's had such a consistent presence in the net all season long, as indicated by his save percentages. Teams in the win column can't do much more than give your team a chance. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. To his teammate. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Jari. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. And that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Lead pass ahead. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Off the draw, they take possession. Poked away in the offensive end. Coughs up possession of the puck. Here's a blast! And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes the feed. Quick shot! Shuts the door with a great save! Moves it to Ruido. Moves the puck into the D zone. Takes a bump but hangs on. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better... Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Puck picked up by Crosby. And now it's grabbed by Gensel. He scores! Jake Gensel with the finish. I love this snapshot from in tight, James. That beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Pittsburgh's got the opening goal this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Dreisaitl's going to play it against the half wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by O'Connor. Pitlick's got the puck in his own zone. 
Pittsburgh's on the attack. Fires it on net. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Buzz play continues. Can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it. You can feel it. And he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James. And that's how that save was made. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. The Oilers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Moves the puck. Turns it away. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Oilers have had plenty of looks here to start this one, but they still trail in the first. Edmonton's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Gains the zone from the right side. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. The Penguins take possession here inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle, let's get the call from the officials. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal, you're trying to fight to get back in this game and now you find yourself shorthanded. in the league and when they get that space and time they can have some high danger chances and let's see what happens here on the first one of the night. Puck grab by Carlson. And that goes off a player in front. Edmonton's going on the attack as they gain the zone. That's some smart heads up defensive play. Oh this looks dangerous. Blocked with a capital B ending that rush. Sends the pass down low. Takes a shot. Coaches are always saying you gotta give it your all, and this goaltender, well, he's going at it with full force and his full hand. This one hits his mask, and he gets a jolt. Russ's got the puck. Puts it off the post. Point blank stop by Campbell. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Gensel's best scoring chances come from when he's shooting the puck when it's flat and settled on the ice. He has great accuracy, and we call that his snipe zone ability. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Raquel. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Grabs control of it at the point. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. And that's knocked away by CeCe. Oh! Think twice about going into the corner after that collision. Puts it in deep. Slides it diagonally to Malkin. Takes a shot. Off the bump and the puck skips away. And they manage to clear it. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Gensel's so effective in the Ozone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Brown's teammates kill off the penalty. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on, and a good aggressive habits there, and it leads to the kill. Moves it quickly over to Raquel. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gensel. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. You know, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Chris one and close. And a solid stop on the play there. 
As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Quick feed to Latang. And it's a quick pass to Carlson. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Denies him in front. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Turn that one aside. There's another consecutive save. McLeod's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Oilers win the draw. The Penguins gain possession. And that one's turned away. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Ellers got him in the offensive zone. And he keeps that one out. Split feed. They create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. The Penguins are on cruise control here in period number one, Cheryl. Yeah, they've got a two-goal lead late in this first period. It's exactly the start they wanted to. They've been pressing all game, but they can't get complacent. They've got to continue to push. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And that skips away on a nice... Yeah. Scores! Make it three in a row, and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy, every single shift. They're getting it in. Pittsburgh's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Great poke check on the reach. Moves it around along the half wall. Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. McDavid's the leader of this team, James. They're getting blown out right now. You got to look at it as a game within a game, winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick punch on net. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And he takes the feed. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Here he is, shot right front. Campbell's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. This beauty backhand zone ability is that wicked backhand shot he uses to score. McDavid's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. I'm excited to see these players compete and give their team the edge. Now back to you. Centering pass! Oh, he comes up with a stop! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Penguins have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Gets the puck in deep. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Brown's got it in the defensive end. Centering feed! And that's stopped! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Penguins are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Pittsburgh's taking possession in their own end. Shot! Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Sends the pass over. Great reach with the poke check by Joseph. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a chance in front! Couldn't get it to go! Attack along the boards. Shot just wide. 
There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it. He misses the net. Feeds it up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Janmark. Feeds it over to Gagne. Quick pass to Fogel. The Penguins have come to play with some jump in their step tonight. Look at the shots on goal. They've generated an already lead comfortably nearing the end of the first. Taken by Graves. Dumps it in. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Quick pass across to Ryan. And the puck departs the zone. Moves it to Carlson. The Oilers take possession of the neutral zone. Works it across to Pitlick. The Penguins will play it in their own end. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Here's a short pass to Ryan. Here we go, off the rush here. Denies him! Jari's able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. Handles the pass. Off his stick! goings of the period. Pittsburgh's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Edmonton's won the draw. Grips it and rips it! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Smith's carrying it ahead. The Oilers have it now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Latang. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. And he takes the dish. Crosby's got it along the wing. Battle along the wall. Edmonton's looking to break out. And he slides it quickly to Dreisaitl. The Oilers take it along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Slides it over with pace to Crosby. He carries the puck up along the wing. Pass out front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Penguins already lead it by a significant margin here late in this first period. Crosby's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. That's blocked by Campbell. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Pittsburgh's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. The Penguins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Jabs the puck away. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Hey fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team. Opening face off for period number two, about set to go. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Pittsburgh's got to try and find a way to continue right where they left off in that opening frame, James. It was near perfect. They managed the puck. They executed. They found it. Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. Well, once you get the puck into his hands, you know that he's going north, James, because he's got incredible lightning-fast speed, and he shows it on this last play and is able to deliver just a gift of a pass, and they execute for a goal. 
Pittsburgh's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. McDavid's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Oilers are still trailing by two. Delores him, he got all of it! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Both teams are set, we'll drop the puck here. The Penguins win it. Braves is hauled down. The official's arm is up. And they're going to be short-handed once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Now a quick pass to Gensel. And he gets all of that one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he turns it aside. Slides it to Crosby. Pittsburgh's crossed the line and on the attack. McLeod's lugging the puck. The Penguins get a hold of it. Getzel has got it against the boards. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Gagne is ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Pittsburgh's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Penguins can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the offensive zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. Oh, he'll feel that one. Grabbed along the board by Smith. From the left side, they gain the zone. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Long jam in front, that's broken up. And he takes a shot. From behind the net. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Campbell's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. The Penguins have dominated them thus far and continue to do so here in this second. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes it and looks ahead. Gensel's having himself a game, James, and he's already got a goal. Pucks on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Hyman. Shot! Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Jari's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. He's got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. We're still in the early stages of this period. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 the score. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Gensel. Sends a pass over and makes the save. And here's a pass to Hyman. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Pittsburgh's gained the line and into the zone. Quick feed down low. 
Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Janmark stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Gagne. Fires it! Denied by Jari. And that's poked away by Rust. Tosses it to Nieto. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Janmark's taking it from his own end. Here's an odd man rush. That's saving a few. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Joseph. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Taken along the wall by Eller. Good use of the body on the play. And he slides it quickly to Brown. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. He was locked in there. Another stop by the goaltender. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. The Penguins lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. And it's a quick pass to Raquel. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Good fight for the puck along the boards. a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take a penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. Once again, send out their power play unit. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion, everything seems directed at the net. Puts it on net. Great save. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by CeCe. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Oilers win the draw here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Turned aside with the glove by Jari. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Gagne's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From the slot! Oh, what a save in front! Tries to feed it over to Gensel. Across the line along the left wall. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And that's picked up by Carter. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. They score! And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Will Tenner's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Pittsburgh's added yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. Tosses it on to Gensel, and he's knocked off the puck there. And that's off a stick. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. And he takes the pass. Tremendous stop by Chari. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Made that stop. And he slides it quickly to CeCe. Takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. 
stop. Feeds it to Sahorna. Across the line. Here's a shot. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And that's stuck by Jari. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Quick feed to O'Connor. Textbook poke check by Bouchard. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. McDavid's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. And the puck's kicked free. Solid check to slow him down. Quick pass to Hyman. And now it's over to Dreisaitl. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Hammers the shot! And that caroms off a body in traffic. Picked up along the wall by Ryan. They are really bussing here in the offensive end. Cut into the front of the net. Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Let's the rest of fly. Scores! And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. You're to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. The Oilers now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. There's a lot of work to do to make that happen. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. The Penguins have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh my goodness, it stayed out, what a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And as play continues, listen to these fans, they're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Knowing how to protect the lead is critical, James, and you want to understand that you can create, you can still press offense, but you can't get cute with the puck. You still have to distribute it and find the right openings. Jory's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the later stages of this period, Edmonton's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Off the draw, they take possession. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Oilers get a hold of the draw. The Penguins have it from their own end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Taken here by Brown. Oh, what a save by Chari. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Moves it to O'Connor. Pokes the puck away. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Sahorna. Sends the pass in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! 
exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Penguins are laying the smack down on the opposition tonight as we near the intermission, but... Ooh, it can't come soon enough at one end of the ice. Well, yeah, you know that their opponent certainly wants it. Uh, an opportunity to reset and catch their breath. But for them, you know that they're going to go to that intermission. Oh! The captain comes through! Oh, such a fluid motion as he's skating in full stride and pulls that puck in towards his feet, changes the angle and puts it by the goaltender. I don't think the goaltender even knew where that was going. The Oilers finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been outscored, and they've just been outplayed this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. Petlick's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Handles the puck. Takes it to center. Shot denied by the goaltender. There's the whistle. We get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Pittsburgh's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he's ridden off the puck. Pushes it across to Hyman. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Moves it to the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Moves the puck up to Carter. With some open space at center. Oh, and a good heads up defensive play. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Too many bodies in the way. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Oh, and a chance to make a nice... Here's a chance! Oh, and another issue. What happened there? It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Pittsburgh's got it against the boards. Into the corner of the attacking area. Oh, what a... Scores! At the buzzer, and they get one! Well, coaches always say the first minute is coming up. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Here we go. We're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting in on the offensive action. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Penguins are leading in this third period in large part due to their power play, James. So effective. And what they've done is they've carried momentum and they give him momentum. That next shift is also important. So power play has done their job, not just on the scoreboard, but providing energy for their team. Another special teams opportunity for both sides. The man advantage unit is back to work again. And so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success is about working on it in practice, repetition, success, and it is certainly translated to the game tonight. Front. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. From the open ice, they gain the line. Pittsburgh's got control of it now here in the offensive end. 
Campbell's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Gagne is ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Penguins win the faceoff. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Feeds it on over to Gagne. The Penguins get a hold of the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Shoots it. Stopped by the goaltender. Battling for it along the boards. Receives the pass. From the slot, wrist shot. And that doesn't reach the net. Grabbed along the boards by Smith. Quick shot. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. McLeod's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Penguins win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Dumps it in. Scooped up along the wall by McLeod. Big hit and that frees up possession. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Sends the pass in front and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Nugent Hopkins is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Gains the zone along the right wall. Fires it on net. Stopped with ease. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. The Penguins have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Pushes it across to Russell. Puck scooped up by Crosby. Zone. Angles it over to Eller. Takes the pass. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Campbell. Broken up with a stick. Let's see what the officials are calling. I always hated to play in these games. He just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Hopkins crosses the line and is on the attack. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Here's a feed in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Penguins played along the boards. Centering feed. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Feeds the puck up to Brown, and he takes the feed. Takes the feed. Oh, big time by Chari. 
Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Along the half wall with the puck. Slick feed. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Made the stop on that play. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Feeds the puck over to Eller. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Fogles out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Well, just been an average night on the PK, but you know how your numbers get better? You get one right there, and they did a good job to be able to kill that one off. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Oilers gain the zone. Moves the puck behind the net. And it's a quick pass to Nurse. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Smith. He's got two goals already. Puck's on his stick. He's hunting his third. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends it to the middle. And that's stopped. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Quick feed to Malkin. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Denied that one. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Smith called for tripping. He's off to the box. The Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle and here's the call. You can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. zone and a stick in the lane ends that threat Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end and he takes the feed oh puts it off the iron had the side of the net but doesn't go the Oilers need to find a way back into the game and that's not going to cut it when you wire one off the post it's a frustrating night and it just goes from bad to worse Carter's moving the puck through his own zone Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Picked up along the boards. Here we go, two on one. Pittsburgh's got a brief window in the power play with their penalty expired. Well, with a hefty lead. Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Graves is going to get some time in the box for slashing. send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Puck picked up by Pedersen. They clear the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Quick pass to Fogel. Moves the puck. in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. is ready for the draw on this man advantage. 
And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Takes the feed at the point. Scores! And they put the power in power play. That's a great goal. I mean, you got to work to position, and that's exactly what happens here. The recognition that the shot is coming and just finding a way to get your stick on that puck. You may not know where it's going, but you want to get a handle on it. The Oilers don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. Shot! And there's the save on the play! There's back-to-back -back saves! They are really dialed in here tonight! And here's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much-needed rest! Pittsburgh's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Nugent Hopkins wins possession off the draw. Now he takes it over the line. Pinned up along the boards. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Carlson. Gains the zone through the middle. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Malkin's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's to Cece. Slides the puck over. Down the right side and into the zone. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Oh, what a stop by Campbell. He scores! There it is! He just turned 30 pounder. Uh, he certainly did, and his name goes up in the upper echelon of natural goal scorers. He's shown it this entire season. He's been consistent.
Sharp. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Chari. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. And there's the save. Getzel's got it in the defensive end. Uses the force on that hit. Pittsburgh's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. Edmonton's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. The Oilers are in transition. Blocked in traffic. Back to the point it goes. What's over? Taken by Rust. The Penguins will play it in their own end. The Oilers look to start the transition game. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. Denies that opportunity. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Stop by the goaltender. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Pittsburgh's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long and they continue to lead late in this third period. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw inside his own end. From off the wall and onto a stick. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Quick pass to Malkin. The Penguins pick up steam and are on the attack. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Sent into the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Slides the puck across to Malkin. Takes it to the net. Fires it. And they score. The pylon continues, Cheryl. Oh, it is ugly, and there's nothing worse than the score than having your own crowd just give way on you there. Not happy. You can hear the booing tonight in this building. Just a tough game all the way around. I think they screamed uncle about two of these ago. to defend against power and strength. You combine that with a little bit of leverage and shielding of the puck, and man, you can be in trouble. As evident right here as he drives the net and finishes it off with the ball. On the shot, the play resumes. Steps into the offensive end. It is never easy when the home fans turn on you, but they've got no one to blame for themselves with this performance tonight. Jarry's going to hang on for a whistle.